Typically, the English people, that when a thing goes well, very little is said about it. They only make a fuss when something goes badly. Crying crossing London went so well to perfection that there was there's very, very little read, said about it over the English news times. But what once we've got all the cargo at the we had a jeep and a trail and ten men. Once we got those away on the job that they'd landed to do, the, the Germans decided that there was no, nothing they could do and disappeared. We never did see who had been firing at us. They just went into the woods and that disappeared altogether. And that was our first day landing. We hung about to make sure that there was no recovery for the next five days before we set off to come home. We just accepted that that's what we're joined to do and that's what we're doing. If you've got a bullet in your neck, well, it's so hard luck. That's the way most of us took it, from what I've gathered afterwards. There was nothing, nothing else to worry about. You, you were there and if you got a bullet, you got a bullet. The war ended and all this flying came to an end in, in England. It was still going on in Burma and into China. I was at RAF Netherhaven. We had been assuming it would finish like that but for the last two or three months beforehand. Oh, well, it was announced on something. It was, a, a glider and all sorts of things were piled into the parade ground and set fire to and had a bonfire around. It just turned midnight on the declaration of peace. It was incredible. Well, they were, they were only plywood all together. There was no metal on them, but often the wheels and undercarriage. Who was going to want them?